This is the same night. It's 1.15 in the morning. And Noel is struggling. Now, remember how I was talking about those bad habits? Those nasty habits when you give the baby in the bottom middle of the night? We're going backwards here. She had a bottle before she went to bed and she went to bed late. In the last like week, she's been waking up multiple times in the middle of the night. And she doesn't need that. I'm debating if I want to give her one last bottle. Cause I'm not really sure what David gave her. And sometimes he doesn't wait until right before she go to bed. And I like to feed them right before they go to bed. I don't know, I'm trying to see if she kinda eventually stopped but she's been crying at least for the past almost 10 minutes i went in there tried to soothe her she got angry and i'm back out here i'm trying to find a pacifier or something else to give her but i don't want her to get complacent with feeling like she has to eat to go to sleep if you don't know she's been sleep trained since she was five months and she's She's nine months. Oh Lord, I forgot my baby turned nine months yesterday. It's not surprising. I haven't even started cleaning yet. Let me change my battery. I'm back. It's only been like a minute and a half. I think she really is starting to use the bottle as a soother than anything. And that's our fault. Gotta get back on board. Gotta make sure David stay on board. Only thing that's bothering me right now is that I don't know what he gave her. I know he gave her a bottle, but I don't remember how long before. He don't be remembering, and I don't know how much he gave her. So a part of me is tempted to give her a bottle. If you haven't seen any of my other sleep training videos, go watch. We do the fiber method. But it, look, it is looking like it's time to sleep train again. See how she's yawning and stuff? She is tired. In another minute, sorry. I'm gonna go in there. I kinda don't wanna go in there yet. Yeah. She ain't been crying five minutes straight though. With the fiber method, it's consistent five minutes crying. It can't have no break. The moment she goes, <sighs> And then start crying again, that time starts over. See how she got quiet? She has little soft toys. She has anything in there that she shouldn't eat, but she just don't need to eat every time she wakes up. And she's starting to wake, cry every time. So this is kind of what I deal with. I deal with the uh, the overnight stuff the third third hour shift type stuff so this is my lane so i'll stay up but at the same time it's my job to deal with this stuff because i don't do well with mornings and david does if she cries for another two minutes i'm gonna go in there i want to let you know that for some people who are new to like sleep training or don't necessarily necessarily agree and stuff like that a part of doing this is also knowing your kid kids need sleep 
They really do. They need sleep. They need rest. And no matter how much you may think this is cruel, letting her cry it out, but this is teaching her to soothe herself. I would never, ever, ever starve my baby. But I know my baby. And my, my child here is a cool as a rock. Let me tell you. She is such a chill baby. And the only time she is not chill is when she's hungry. But I have noticed in the middle of the night that she's just starting to do this. And then I give her a bottle and that's it. Like, I'm like this. When I tell you like this to the cry in the bottle, it's like this. Because I feel like, you know, she cries, she wants a bottle. But that's not how it works. She needs to learn that, yeah, she, she can eat, but I make sure that we fatten her up after we feed her you can look at me now and i'm timing her at the same time like after we give her her last meal for the night probably 30 40 minutes later we give her her night bottle then after that we put her to sleep in most cases we try to feed her and go to sleep and most of the time lately she actually goes to sleep with the bottle but i'm about to go in there and try to soothe her is bright for her but what I've decided to do was actually feed her no you're not sleeping to this I'm gonna make sure you're not hungry are we gonna eat this and then you're gonna lay all right so I should just put her down this is the bottle she drink. She drink. I put roughly about seven ounces in here, um, and that's what it brought it to roughly. After um, putting like the powder in and stuff like that, so obviously it has roughly like two ounces left. And I just put her in there, and she's chilling out. It is 1:48 in the morning, and I'm getting tired. I really am. I'm about to make me some coffee because I need to take advantage of this day because I'm supposed to have some people over today. So I need to take advantage while I can. So I can't afford to like sleep this whole day. I really can't. So I'm going to drink this coffee. If I got to drink in five hours, I drink for five hours. So I'm going to make coffee and try not to go to sleep. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's 
that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. We're gonna dance, 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 dance